Blog Talk Radio. Large 
origination costs relative to other types of mortgages. These costs become part of the initial loan balance and accrue interest. When your citizen borrows, borrowers with good credit should analyze care, should carefully analyze the options of a more traditional mortgage. This is all according to Investopedia, such as a home equity loan or against a reverse mortgage. So they're basically they're advising you. If you have good credit, don't do this. Um, the San Francisco Chronicle says that reverse mortgages, uh, they wrote an article about reverse mortgages, and, and they come with five potential scams, including foreclosure scams. Um, this has been a controversy all over the country with the fraudulent uh, foreclosures. Uh, so many people getting their, for, their houses foreclosed on, and then, then some have challenged it, and the banks don't have the papers because they sold the papers to somebody else. The mortgage actually is owned by somebody else, but the other bank is getting the house, and it's really gotten a mess. Um, Dylan Radigan has done some really good legwork on this. He understands the subject so much better than I do. Um, but so the banks have basically been foreclosing on houses that, that they don't necessarily have the papers for. So like if you're being foreclosed on, my best would be don't leave. Demand the paperwork and get a lawyer if you can afford one. Of course, it's kind of hard to afford a lawyer if you can't make your house payments, but you need to contest it. Um, so in this commercial, we see Fred Thompson is now making money from banks, from, from this bank, this organization. And when he was in office, according to Open Secrets, he did the same thing. He got money from banks. He got $6,000 from <clears throat> SunTrust banks, $27,000 from commercial banks. So, you know, kind of a, a lower middle class yearly salary from bank, just bank lobbying. Uh, and he can just take that money right there and that's enough to live on. Uh, so it, it's hard, not hard to guess which way he voted on bank regulations. I didn't even bother looking it up. You're getting $33,000 from banks. You're, you're not voting for bank regulations. You're going to deregulate the banks, which the banks being deregulated caused a crash because they had a bunch of phony loans that they basically bought and vetted again, and that caused the derivatives um, that, that caused the crash. Um, and, I mean, this is well documented. You can look this up. So I just thought it was interesting. Um, Fred Thompson is trying to rip you off. <laughs> Really, getting money from people who are trying to rip you off. Uh, so, 